Next up, oh, this is good. This is a good one because uh, this is a question that I had myself, which was Ripple Executive, Brad, explains why PayPal is excluding XRP from new crypto business. And this was the because when I took a look at PayPal and they said, hey, we're going to do Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. I'm like, why not XRP? Seriously, it's pretty good. It's super fast. I don't know if you've ever used it, but it is really fast. It's way faster than uh, Bitcoin is. I'll tell you that right now. So this kind of breaks into what the heck happened. So this first sentence is what I talked about. PayPal is going for those uh, four cryptos. But then Brad tells Bloomberg he thinks PayPal probably made the decision because the payments giant felt safest with those assets from a regulatory perspective. And he elaborates, PayPal, I think has said, they plan to go live with Bitcoin and Ether. And part of that goes back to the regulatory clarity. If you are a company looking at investing, investing in or building upon a technology like XRP or like other digital assets, if there's not regulatory clarity, then you're likely to go with the other ones that are clear. And he, and he goes on and says, others in the marketplace say, I'm going to start with Bitcoin and Ether because they have good housekeeping seal of approval in the U.S. But that made me think about it. And I was like, well, Bitcoin, yes. Uh, Ethereum, yes. The CFTC and the SEC kind of alluded to that, that uh, we're not going to classify these as securities because of the decentralized nature. I'm not going to get into that. We've done that a ton of times on this channel. And it really all comes down to decentralization. So you have Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Bitcoin Cash, okay, kind of on the under the umbrella, but Litecoin? Has anybody said anything about Litecoin that it's not a security, that they wouldn't classify as a security? If you know something, please put in the comment section. And because I haven't seen anything about that anywhere. So the question then is, what Brad is saying is because they picked these, well, why they pick Litecoin? And why didn't they pick XRP? I think there is another reason for it. And I'd love to hear your opinions. <laughs> I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, everybody's got an opinion on XRP. That is for sure. So just to elaborate a little bit, uh, the whole thing with decentralization, that was the crackdown part for uh, EOS getting cracked down on by the SEC. This was in 2019. And it's kind of interesting because EOS went through a one-year ICO. Essentially, that's what it was. I know because I bought EOS during that time and they weren't on the main net. Once they got on the main net, then everything switched over and it wasn't really like an ICO. But the thing was is that the SEC said, hey, during that time when you guys weren't decentralized and you were doing that ICO, uh, you owe us money. And they busted them hard. They said, hey, pay us $24 million. And of course, EOS was like, well, we made $4.1 so all right, here's your money. And that's pretty much what happened. And then now that it's on the main net and it's considered decentralized, even though blockchain producers, there's like 20 or 21 or something crazy low like that, they say it's still decentralized, so sure. So really, it all comes down to is are you or do you have a decentralized main net and how is that working uh, out for you so we don't bust you as uh, a security? Anyhow, moving on. And of course, that is just one factor. I'm sure there's others. I don't know because I'm not in the government. I'm on the SEC. Later on, it states, in addition, Garlinghouse says he thinks uh, the fact that PayPal won't allow users to move their crypto assets to other wallets is a misstep. And that's true. Uh, everybody, everybody in the crypto sphere says the same thing. This is awful. They can't do that. This is just the worst thing ever. And, and uh, of course, they are right. I mean, it is true. It is pretty bad that you can't take it off PayPal. But uh, me personally, and I'm the only one, I think, uh, I could care less. Because here's the thing. Yes, people like us, you listening to this video, you know uh, the whole story behind crypto and digital assets and why it's important to uh, have your personal private keys, not your keys, not your coins, right? Uh, however, the people that are coming in, they don't care about that. They don't know about that. They look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin as like another stock to buy because they know it's going to go up and it's going to go up massively. So they don't care about the keys. Now, later on, they're going to figure it all out, right? But right now, to get mass adoption, this is what we need to really get the ball rolling. I know it's not a popular opinion, and I'm sure in the comment section, people will crucify me, but it is what it is. And uh, me and you aren't going to go to PayPal to get our crypto. We're going to stick at the same exchanges. We're going to put on our nano ledger, and we're going to keep our private keys private. However, for, the, for other people, the parents, the grandparents, the uh, new people haven't really gotten into it, which is like most everybody in the world. Uh, they need something like this just to get their feet wet and because they need a gateway exchange to really figure it all out. Like I said, Bitcoin to me is just gateway crypto. Like it's a gateway drug to the other uh, side of cryptocurrency digital assets, but only time will tell. Now, later on, they'll some of them will figure it out. They'll come to these this channel or other channels like this. They'll go to websites. They'll really research and understand. They'll 
get the whole point of censorship resistance, quantitative easing versus quantitative hardening, the decentralized nature, the transparency, and how it all works together in the global economy. They'll get that later, but not all of them, and they don't have to. The ones that want to figure it out will figure it out. Anyhow, finishing up. Ripple has floated the idea of moving its headquarters out of the U.S. to what Garlinghouse sees as a guessing game of regulations in the U.S. that creates an uneven playing field. And two things. First of all, they've already talked about Great Britain or in London uh, because they said that they've already given them uh, regulatory clarity over there, or at least they've hinted at it. So it looks like they're going to move over to London. And second of all, all these things about regulations, this leads me to our last article, which is really awful. So the U.S. moving to cast a wider net for launderers, crypto, same thing, right? But this is bad. The Federal Reserve, the U.S. Central Bank, published a proposed, it's a proposed rule change Friday, asking about the recording requirements for money transfers involving virtual currencies and fiat. So what's going on? According to the rule change proposal, which I'm pretty sure is going to go through, the Fed and the Finance Crimes Enforcement Network, or FinCEN, uh, proposed modifying the thresholds at which banks must collect and store fund transfer information. Check this out. Reducing it from 3000 to 250 Let me say that again. They're going to reduce the amount that the banks must collect and pretty much report suspicious activity from 3000 to 250 I always thought it was 10000 Now I'm reading this, I'm like, 3000 that's pretty low. Now I'm looking at this, I'm like, what, 250 So $250, they're going to flag it. Really, that's what's going to happen. And this is for any transfers that go outside the U.S. The proposal would also widen the agency's definition of money to explicitly include cryptocurrency. So again, if you're new to the channel, I will just tell you my whole thing. And that is that I believe that we should have some regulation. I am not a chaos guy. I'm not just like, you know, let it all uh, hang out and just see what happens. That's, that's just not what I'm in. A lot of it comes to working with the elderly. I was in the healthcare for 15 years. I've seen a lot of the elderly population get ripped off from different scams. I mean, everything under the sun. That's why I was so big about getting rid of these scams and scam the day and things like that. When I see people getting scammed, especially the elderly, they're not, they don't have time to work that all back. If they lose their entire life savings, this shouldn't have happened. Of course, we can do education and everything else, but it's great to have somebody to be that type of protector. Now, here's the flip side. Sometimes you have regulation, it's like a slice of cake. Works out great. Have a couple bites, everybody's happy, I feel full, going to bed. The problem with regulation is you get too much regulation because you just go overboard. And that's the person that eats the whole pie or the whole cake and it just messes up everything, destroys your whole night too. So for regulation, this is the essential example of eating two cakes in one helping. This is ridiculous. There's no reason why this should be done. However, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And that is it for today's video. So first, I want to say thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end. Really appreciate it. Also, if you didn't know, I've got a second channel. It's called Dan Clips. And I did it for two reasons. First of all, time is money. And some of these videos go a little bit too long, so I break them up into clips. So if you're having a very shortened day, got too much going on, head over to Dan Clips because everything we talk about here is going to be segmented into bite-sized clips. The second reason I did it was because, hey, YouTube could shut down this channel anytime. They seem to have done it and they do it a lot. So I just needed a backup, essentially. So you can always find the second channel in the description of every one of my videos. Link looks just like this. And if you check that out, that would help me out uh, tremendously. I really appreciate it. So again, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, there'll be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. I'll let PayPal do their magic. And uh, that is all. Enjoy your weekend. See you in the next one.